Should I buy a guitar plug-in and if I do buy one, what other gear do I need? These questions and more will be addressed in this video as I explain to you guys why it is that I've been recording 99% of my videos over the past couple of years with plugins, namely ones made by Neural DSP, who are the sponsor of today's video. You can download a free trial of any of their plugins via the link in the description box. So firstly, what is a guitar plugin? Well, it's essentially a full on guitar rig with amps, cabs, microphones, and effects that you can carry around with you in your laptop or download on a desktop computer. What gear do you need to make it work? An electric guitar, of course, a standard jack to jack cable, an audio interface, headphones and or studio monitors, and a computer of some description, of course. It's also advisable that you get yourself a DAW, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. This is recording software like Pro Tools, Logic Pro, or Ableton. Although it's worth noting that with Neural DSP plugins, you don't need a DAW to use them. You can actually open the plugin like a standalone app if you're just wanting to practice and not actually record anything. So when I come here to the studio to set up for filming, I connect my audio interface to my laptop via USB. I connect my two monitors so that I can hear myself. At home, I'll also use headphones. I'll plug the guitar into input one on my interface and in my DAW, which is Logic Pro 10, I create an audio channel with input one selected so that it corresponds to the input that my guitar is plugged into. Then on that channel in my DAW, I go to the audio effects section, which is where you can load up any plugins that come with your DAW or ones that you've bought from a third party like Neural DSP. I scroll down to audio units and there you'll see I have a range of Neural DSP guitar plugins to choose from and I can then decide if I want to record in mono or stereo and before you hit record make sure that your input monitoring is turned on so that you can hear yourself. Now I'm using a very expensive audio interface, it's a Universal Audio Apollo Twin Quad Core. I want to make it absolutely clear that you do not need something this expensive, this is honestly overkill for my needs really and an entry level interface like a Focusrite Scarlett will do the job just fine so don't think that just because you see me or any other guitar player using a thousand dollar interface that you need to buy the same. I get a lot of questions from people asking what type of computer they need to run the plugin with and honestly your best bet is just to literally go check the system requirements on the Neural DSP website. You'll notice that they have minimum and recommended requirements for both Mac and Windows. Plus you can also get a free trial of any of their plugins so you can actually try it out on your computer and figure out if it's gonna work or not. Now I'm not running a particularly super computer here. I'm using a seven year old 13 inch MacBook Pro that is not even close to fully spec'd out and I'm able to record just fine with it. Having said that, if you want to record multiple guitar tracks with different tones in your DAW, you may run into the issue of overloading the system. These plugins have incredible sound quality and the trade-off there is that they do require a lot of CPU. So what you can do to get around that, if you don't have one of the fancy new MacBook Pros that can basically handle anything, is record each guitar track and bounce the track immediately. Now what I mean by that is, say I've got three guitar tracks to record for the same song, and they're all overlapping and require different tones. If I create three channels that each have the plugin loaded up on them, if I record one track, I'll probably get through that take without any issues. But then if I go to record the second track, my doll might freak out a little bit because you're recording using a powerful plugin 
and the computer has to process that sound as you're recording. But not only that, it's also got to process the plugin on the track that you just recorded at the same time. So the workaround for this is to record each track separately. And once you're happy with each take, bounce that track within the DAW, which essentially means you export the audio with the plugin's tone and your volume and pan settings. And that exported audio goes to a new track that doesn't need the plugin on it because the tone is already captured in that bounced audio. Then you would record the second and third tracks on the same channel and repeat that process. This is gonna be a lot less strenuous on your computer compared to trying to record with the three plugin tracks all running at once. If you have one of the new MacBook Pros that just came out, then I'm sure that those computers won't even break a sweat recording multiple plugins at once. But if you're like me and you have an older laptop that you're recording with, then you might have to use that workaround technique for recording multiple tracks. Another question that often comes up is latency. Is it an issue? If you don't know, latency is the lag time between you picking a note and it being processed by the plugin. For me, it's not an issue. I typically record at a sample rate of 48,000 hertz with the audio buffer size set to 128 samples. You'll notice on Neural plugins that the buffer size ranges from 16 samples to something like 2048. Now, the lower number, the less latency you get. 2048 samples is a very, very noticeable and unusable amount of latency, really. 16 samples is extremely low latency, but it's too CPU intensive for my computers anyway. If I try playing with it, it starts to sound like it's clipping, so I can't record at 16 samples. I found that for my needs, I can get away with 128 samples, and with that, I don't notice any latency at all, even though that it is technically there. Even 256 samples sounds good to my ears. covered what you need to have gear wise before you can consider buying a plugin. Now let's talk about why you would want to buy one. For me, the main reason is simply convenience. If you're traveling anywhere with your guitar, interface and laptop, that is literally all you need to be able to record studio quality guitar tones instantly. I film in a studio and I have to carry a ton of gear with me to every shoot that we do here. So the fact that I don't have to also carry an amp, microphones, a pedal board, or a modeling unit with me is really handy. Another huge advantage of plugins is how easy it is to reamp a guitar track. So when you record with plugins, you're basically recording a direct signal from your guitar and interface, which on its own sounds like nothing really. It sounds very, very dry. If I play a recorded track for you using the Tone King Imperial Mark II plugin from Euro, Here's what that sounds like. But now if I turn the plugin off on the channel strip, you'll hear just the direct signal. Now that's very handy because if you're happy with a take but then realize after the fact that you wanted a bit less gain or say more delay, you don't have to re-record the entire track. You don't have to re-record the track at all actually. You just go into the plugin, mess around with your settings until you're happy with the tone and then you've saved yourself a lot of time. Lastly, the third reason is just the quality of tone and the amount of options that you get with plugins. A lot of the comments on my SRV videos that I made using the Archetype Corey Wong plugin were people saying that they couldn't believe it was digital gear that I was using for the tone. And honestly, the neural amp simulations are indistinguishable from the real thing to my ears. 
Pair that with the fact that there's just so many options for shaping your tone in the plugin from pre-effects to post-effects to microphone selection, the option of adding in room mics, using your own IRs, graphic EQ and more. It's really an all-in-one solution to home recording as a guitarist. And that's about all I have to say on the topic of guitar plugins. For home recording, they are an amazing tool to have at your disposal. And like I said before, if you wanna try one out for yourself, you can download a free trial of any Neural DSP plugin using my link in the description box. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, my name is Ross Campbell. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.